Hello, my name is Gil Cohen and I'm the sales engineer here at Renesas ANZ. Today I would like to present you the TFT Direct Drive with a GUI builder from Renesas. Let's start with the TFT kit. The TFT kit uses a 16-bit micro to directly drive the TFT with no need for external TFT controller. And it only uses 3-6% to of the CPU time. As you can see, the TFT kit is built from a typical HLS dev board mounted on a support board that is directly connecting the MCU to the TFT display. How does it work, you ask yourself? Simple. The HLS 16-bit micro have two internal buses with an external DMA controller. The external DMA controller uses bus number 2, while the CPU uses bus number 1 to reach the peripheral. The external DMA is triggered by the timer that also implement the H-Sync and the V-Sync signal for the TFT display. The timer triggers the external DMA to load a 16-bit color pixel from the external SRAM and transfer this information to the dedicated GPIO that can drive the TFT directly. Those GPIO can be configured to work with bus number 1 or bus number 2. In this case, they are configured to use bus number 2, which is the same bus that uses the external DMA controller. This operation can refresh the TFT display up to 60 times per second with no much intervention from the CPU and bus number 1, letting you the freedom to program the MCU to execute other tasks. In the SRAM, we store the frame buffer, which is the frame bitmap we are projecting to the TFT display. If we would like to change this frame, we can write to the SRAM when the external DMA doesn't use the external bus to load to the next pixel. Depending on the application, changing the frame buffer while it is being projected on the TFT cannot be a good idea. Another option is to use a second frame buffer, which is a replica of the current frame buffer, and we will execute the changes on the second frame buffer. Then, we simply switch between the frame buffers to project the new frame buffer on the TFT display while the CPU can start to rechange or redraw the first frame buffer for the next frame. That was a quick summary of how it works. Now, it is also important to mention that the kit comes with the drivers and the graphic library that can get you up and running in no time. And don't you forget, as well, we have a free GUI builder. Our GUI builder is actually Microsoft C Sharp and C++ Express platform which is a freeware from Microsoft. All we had to do is to edit our special plugs in to make it work with our HLS micros. This can very easily help you to create different buttons and pictures on the TFT display, as I will show in the next example. This is a screen that I made myself. As you can see, not very good on the graphic design. True, but what's interesting about it, it took me 5 to 7 minutes to set it up. And let me show you how. Here we have a project environment for this application. I can very easily add and remove any button I want. In this example, I deleted two buttons. And since I'm a bit lazy, I will copy a button and paste it to create a new button. In the button properties, I will set the new screen destination, which is screen number 3 in this project. And also, I will change the button picture, as you can see. Now, I will save the project, and let me show you the cool following option. After you change your graphic design, you don't need to reload the C code to the U and compile it again. You can run a sample on the PC itself. This sample will let you evaluate the graphics you edit and do a quick change to your graphic design if needed. Here is an example of much more complicated GUI interface you can do very easily with the GUI Builder.
For summary, this is a 16-bit micro with two internal buses. This can drive directly a TFT display with no need for external TFT controller. This kit also comes with the drivers, the graphic library, the GUI builder and the reference design of the blue kit to get you up and starting in no time. Please feel free to contact us for more information, questions or details to learn how you can start your application of tomorrow, today.